welcome to the graduation ceremonies of West Kentucky Community and Technical College. Please remain standing. <laughs> remain standing as Fowler Black leads us in our national anthem. Gentlemen, please remove your mortar boards. Ladies may do so if you wish. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave O'er the land of the free and the home of the Please be seated. I ask you to take a moment, please, to silence your cell phones. Welcome to this very special occasion for our students, family, friends, and faculty. I would like to recognize those honored guests who are present this evening. As I introduce our platform guests, kindly hold your applause until all have been introduced. With the Paducah Junior College Board of Trustees, Chair Ann Denton. West Kentucky Community and Technical College Board of Directors, Dr. Shirley Menendez, Chair, Heather Coltharp, faculty representative. Our featured speaker, Glenn Denton, chair of the Kentucky Council on Postsecondary Education. Other platform guests, Dr. Tina Payne, vice president, academic affairs. Dr. Belinda Dalton Russell, vice president, student development. Jacob Hugenroth, our student speaker, and Corey Nance, student speaker. With us this evening as well, we have West Kentucky Community and Technical College Board of Directors, Deborah Edmonds and Larry Kelly. West Kentucky earns a military-friendly school status annually. This year, WKCTC was recognized in the Military Advanced Education and Training Magazine Special Report on Community Colleges. In it, we were recognized for the promising practices we have initiated to transition veterans into the classroom and beyond. We proudly serve those who have served. At this time, I would like to recognize our student veterans those wearing red and white and blue honor cords are our graduating veterans. At this time, will those graduating veterans and our veterans among the faculty please stand and join me in thanking them for their valuable service to our country. Please stand. Thank you, thank you. 
Dr. Shirley Mendendez, Chair of the WKCTC Board of Directors, will now bring greetings and introduce our student speakers. Dr. Menendez. Congratulations to the graduates and your family and friends who have supported you. You are graduating this afternoon from one of the top three community colleges in the nation. You should be very proud, and we are certainly very proud of you. Corey Nance and Jake Hugenroth are our student speakers today. They were named to the 2016 KCTCS All Academic Team, which recognizes outstanding students of community and technical colleges. Our first speaker is Jacob Hugenroth. Jake Hugenroth is from Marshall County, and he has always had a passion for technology. Knowing from a young age, he wanted to pursue a career that involved computers. He said attending WKCTC allowed him to jumpstart his career in network administrations. He will be receiving an Associate in Applied Science degree and plans to transfer to Murray State University in the fall to work on a bachelor's degree and additional computer networking certifications. Thank you, Dr. Menendez. I'd like to start by congratulating my fellow graduates here today. We have all overcome unique struggles to get here, and this is definitely something to be proud of. We all have a different story of how we accomplished this, and while our stories may not be the same, I think we can learn the same lessons from all of them. My story I'd like to share with you tonight begins just several months before starting my first semester of college when I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease. <clears throat> Believe it or not, I was actually happy to receive this diagnosis. After several years of health problems and a myriad of tests and doctor visits, we had finally discovered the cause. I hope that now that we knew what was wrong and could begin treatment, maybe I would start feeling better and have more energy just in time for college. Sadly, this wasn't really the case. Even now, I struggle on a day-to-day -day basis with chronic fatigue as well as other Crohn's symptoms. Honestly, it can be very frustrating to barely have the energy to work 25 to 30 hours a week while also being a full-time student, much less have energy to spend time with my friends, family, or my fiance. As I, so as I began my first year of college, I'll admit I felt a little sorry for myself. I was in bed by 9 or 10 on a Saturday night after going to work and then doing homework until I was too tired, all while my friends were out having fun. However, during my second semester, I paired up with a blind student for one of my computer classes. One of our first labs was to take a computer apart and put it back together again. I figured I'd be doing most of the work because my lab partner wasn't able to see. But boy, was I wrong. He had the computer taken apart and back together again faster than I could grab a screwdriver. He knew where every cable went by feel while I was struggling to figure it out, and I can see. This classmate really put things in perspective for me. If he could do this without sight, then I could get through college with Crohn's disease. This change in perspective has given me the determination to accomplish my goals despite my illness. Graduating today is the first of the goals I hope to accomplish in the years to come. Although there is no way I could have done this without the help and encouragement from my wonderful fiance, Trisha, my family, and my fantastic teachers and advisor at WKCTC. I know that all of us here tonight have had someone in our lives that has helped us get to where we are today. Make sure to take a moment to thank these people for helping you accomplish your goals. And let's try to be that encouraging person in someone else's life. As the semesters have gone by, I have also realized that all of us have obstacles and challenges we have to overcome, not only in our education, but our career and our personal lives as well. I've met classmates who are single moms, who work, attend school, and take care of their kids. I've met classmates who struggle with health issues, much like myself, and many of us have had to make financial sacrifices in order to attend college. Despite these challenges, all of us have made it here today, and that is definitely worth celebrating. So congratulations again to everyone for graduating today. 
I hope that we can all take the lessons we have learned at WKCTC with us onto the next phase of our lives, and always remember not to define ourselves by our struggles, but by the way in which we have overcome them. Thank you. Corey Nance is from McCracken County, and he is in the first class of Community Scholarship Program students at the college. He said attending WKCTC has changed his life and made him a more mature student and man. He will receive an Associate in Science degree and plans to transfer to the University of Kentucky this fall to study mechanical engineering. I want to start by saying good afternoon to everybody. No, it's an auditorium full of people. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> I like that better. <laughs> I would first like to give all the thanks to God because without him, none of this would be possible. This commencement would not be possible. Me standing here would not be possible, but with God, all things are possible. <laughs> I would also like to say congratulations to each of my fellow graduates. It, it makes me so happy to see all these people sitting here achieving their goals. I wish all of you the best of luck in your future endeavors, and may God continue to bless each and every one of you in your individual journeys. I want like to say thank you to the faculty and staff. I appreciate all the help I received over the past two years. I do not know what I would have done without your assistance and teaching abilities that you all possess. I also want to give a huge thank you to the Community Scholarship Program donors. The CSP program eased the financial burden for some of us, allowing, allowing us to successfully complete this academic journey. Ms. Lisa and Justin, thank both of you for putting up with me for two years. Ms. Lisa, thank you for letting me eat all your food. And Justin, thank you for letting me sit in your office and talk for hours and hours. Ms. Rachel, thank you as well for the, helping me in the transfer process, having faith in me and encouraging me each step along the way. And last but not least, I know them share, I know they're probably thinking when I'm gonna mention them, but my family and also my church family, thank you for all the lessons and wisdom you all have passed down and all the love and care you've given me. Um, it has made me a better man than I am today and it's something I'll forever be grateful for. I've always felt that college is a learning experience. It's in this time where you really start to figure out who you are as a person and what you are capable of. We all have some idea of where we are going and, how, and what we are going to do once we get there, but we often take for granted the journey it takes. We don't realize the hardships that come with getting to the finish line. We all have been through something that we did not expect to happen. It may be a family issue, a sudden sickness, a job loss, or whatever it may be. In the middle of that challenge, you face a decision. You have two options. Are you going to sit and fold and give up, or are you, or are you going to keep pushing through? I've heard students say all the time, it's too hard or it's not even worth it. Well, of course it is hard because if it were easy, everybody would be doing it. If it were easy, this commencement ceremony would last for hours and hours. But we, all of us sitting here today, are the ones who have made it. This accomplishment is something that each one of us should hold near to us. Yes, we are receiving a degree, diploma, or certificate, but what we are really receiving is the result of our hard work. We chose to push through our challenges and to learn from them, and we chose to make sacrifices now in, in order to move us towards a brighter future. And I know you've probably heard it 200 times, but this is about to be number 201. We are the future. It sounds so cliche, but it's also so true. We are the ones who must decide how to use our experiences in order to push through today's challenges. Anybody can sit and decide to do absolutely nothing, but it takes a special person to decide they're gonna make something of themselves. Don't take for granted the lessons you learned along the way to your accomplishments. Use those lessons as motivation to reach even bigger dreams. I'll leave you all with one question today. Do the habits you have today match the dreams you have for tomorrow? We will only be able to impact the future if we use our experiences and challenges as motivation to reach even bigger dreams. Otherwise, we're simply holding steady and not going anywhere, and we'll never be able to reach the stars that we shoot for. Yes, the going may get rough, and it will get hard, but if we continue to push through the challenges, we will be able to achieve great things. 
Martin Luther King once said, if you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. Thank you, congratulations to each and every one of you, and good luck on all of your journeys. Thank you both, Jacob and Corey. That was excellent. At this time, I would like to bring to the podium Chair Ann Denton. She is the chair of the Paducah Junior College Foundation. The foundation serves this college greatly. Uh, without the educational support, uh, without their commitment to education within our community, we would not be the college that we are today. So it is my pleasure to introduce Ms. Denton, our chair. Congratulations to all of you. Our guest speaker is Glenn David Denton, a partner with the Denton Law Firm, in, Lo in Paducah, he practices law throughout Western Kentucky and Southern Illinois. He's the chair of the Kentucky Council on Post-Secondary Education, the coordinating board for Kentucky's post-secondary education system. He will serve as council chair through January 2017. A 1992 center graduate and a 1995 graduate of Northern Kentucky University, Chase College of Law, Glenn Denton serves on the board of directors of the Paducah Bank and Trust Company, Paducah Bank Shares, and Lawyers Mutual Insurance Company of Kentucky in Louisville. Mr. Denton. Good afternoon. First, uh, thank you, Chairman Denton, Mrs. Denton, mother, <laughs> mom, for that very kind introduction. First, let me greet and welcome the faculty, the family, the friends, and everyone here today from West Kentucky Community and Technical College. Each of you have gathered here today for a special event. For today is a special day. It's a special day for each and every one of us, but particularly for the candidates for graduation. For you see, you are not yet a graduate. That special moment on this special day has not yet arrived. And it won't arrive until President Vesey exercises the power of her office. And please know that when that moment occurs, it is not a trivial thing. Each one of us has had special days in our lives. Examples are a birthday, a high school graduation, a wedding, a birth. These days are special, noteworthy, memorable, unforgettable. Today, for you, this is one of those days. For crowds like this, they don't gather for no reason at all. So it asks the candidates for graduation to do me a favor. Take a moment. Look to your left. Look to your right. Think about your teachers, your professors, your family, your friends, your church family, all those that have helped to get you to this day. Do your best to make this memory unforgettable. It already is for me because it is an honor and a privilege to be with you here today celebrating your accomplishments. For today, you're going to be able to start answering questions with the word, yes. The questions will be, did you go to college? Did you graduate? Did you get your certificate or your diploma or your associate degree? You will also be classified differently as of today. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, in any demographic study where you look at a city or a county or a state, they're going to have different breakdowns. Those that went to high school, those that graduated from high school, and a corresponding percentage. For you, you've changed. Those that went on to college, those that entered post-secondary education, those that earned a certificate 
or a diploma or an associate's degree. This change is further recognition that something unique is happening. For here you are at this ceremony. You're seated in comfortable chairs in an amazing performance hall. You're wearing caps and gowns that I'm going to assume that you usually do not wear. And the fact of the matter is, you're waiting for that moment to receive a piece of paper, a piece of paper that will probably be lost or stored in the back of a closet one day in your future. What does that piece of paper, however, represent? Well, the fact of the matter is, one day these chairs will be replaced, this performance hall will be renovated, but the fact of the matter is, what they give you today cannot be taken away. What you have accomplished is furthering your education, taking the next step, taking it to the next level, elevating your thinking, moving from a low information person to a high information person. Because each of you has endeavored, you've entered new courses of study, new subject matters, new concepts, and with each of those, you've figured out how to study them, how to comprehend them, how to succeed. These skill sets, they cannot be taken away from you. They can't be suspended like your driver's license. They can't be canceled like your insurance. They can't be throttled like your internet service. The fact of the matter is they are a part of you now. And you will soon be a college graduate and it will soon be confirmed that you crossed the finish line. So let's, let's share this success with others for a moment. I doubt there's any one of you here today that would say that you did this alone with absolutely no help. Both Jake and Corey confirmed that for them. There were teachers, parents, friends, classmates, and others pushing you along the way. There were also people that you never met rooting for your success. College staff, administrators, board members, donors, hosts of invisible faces that have all been hoping and praying for your success. For this institution here at WKCTC is richer, deeper, and more meaningful than what we all see on the surface. This institution is real. And let me give you an example of what I mean by that. In the past, a college was a place it was a place of learning, for this is where we kept the knowledge. The knowledge was kept in books, and it was kept in libraries. And if you wanted to further your higher education, you had to go to that place to learn. That's no longer true. In 2016, each one of you has more knowledge on your smartphone than any of the 50 best universities and colleges combined. And faculty, I'm sorry to report, but Professor Siri has now answered more questions than all of those faculty members times 100. So we have to ask ourselves, why would a student get out of bed to go to a place when they can watch a video online from Harvard's Extension School, free and open learning on subjects from China to poetry? I believe that the answer to that question is the college experience itself. And to use that frame, let me give you this analogy. A college is like a lighthouse. It is a navigational aid. It shines bright. It shows you the way forward or it shows you the way home. A college experience is not the buildings, it's not the glass or the concrete or the libraries. It is the human, inter it's the human experience unique to each of you. You heard what Jake had to say. His was different for him. You heard what Corey had to say. His was different for him. The fact of the matter is, it is the people. The interaction between the people. The collaboration with others. The debate. It's doing the work and realizing, I just learned something new. And if you will indulge me just a bit with this lighthouse analogy, 
a lighthouse has to be tended. It has to be tended to and cared for by a lighthouse keeper. She makes sure that the light never goes out. She makes sure it shines bright. She makes sure that it continues to guide when the weather changes. She makes the necessary adjustments to the lamps and the lenses. And in my opinion, West Kentucky Community and Technical College has been blessed to have one of the finest lighthouse keepers tending to and caring for it that this Commonwealth has ever known. And President Vesey, let me say thank you one more time. In my role as chair of the Kentucky Council on Post-Secondary Education, uh, I've had the privilege of visiting every one of our public universities, many of our community colleges, and many of our independent colleges. On each campus, there are hundreds or thousands of students, but these students are not all the same. They're not all the same sex. They're not all the same race. They're not all the same ethnicity. They don't even come from the same backgrounds. Where they are the same is that they are all eager, enthusiastic. They have energy. They have a willingness to study, to earn, to take the course, to pass, to get the grade. Because each one of these students are furthering their own higher education. Study after study, survey after survey, and the numbers all tell us something is very good is happening to you all today. You today are receiving an education premium. You see, graduates are the skilled workers that employers talk about and recruit and employ. Graduates earn more money. Graduates have better health. They have the intelligence to know what to do to take care of themselves. Graduates commit less crimes. They know right from wrong and appreciate the consequences. Graduates, graduates are more civically engaged. They vote, they donate, they provide public service. And lastly, graduates serve as role models to others. And they lift each others up by being the example or setting the bar higher. In fact, I would submit to you that each of, if each of you in the future would close your eyes and ponder this question, you would realize that you are a better person, spouse, son, daughter, brother, sister, co-worker, because you graduated. Now, Wikipedia says that a commencement speech is simply an opportunity for the commencement speaker to share his or her experience, values, and advice. And for the faculty out there, yes, I just used Wikipedia as a reference source. And no, I will not be footnoting it. So from my experience, first let me just tell you that I stand before you a former part-time faculty member of West Kentucky Community and Technical College. For four years, it was my privilege to teach the sexiest, most exciting college class ever, real estate law. <laughs> there can be no greater joy than a discussion about deeds on a Wednesday night from 6.30 to 9.30. However, the experience that I have had as the chair of the Council on Post-Secondary Education over these past eight years might be a bit more relevant today. I've traveled the Commonwealth from the University of Pikeville to Paducah, to Alice Lloyd College in Pippa Pass, to the University of Kentucky. And from this experience, let me tell you what I value. I value post-secondary education. I believe in higher education. I think it is the answer to some of our Commonwealth's biggest issues, and I regret each and every year that the Commonwealth cuts its funding. Our nation, our state, and our society should recognize that the investment in our people and in higher education provides a return that far exceeds any simple computation.
As for, your, as for advice, I'm going to offer four thoughts. One, teach yourself to stop, appreciate the moment, be thankful, and count your blessings. Today is one of those days. Two, and I saw this in the hallways when you all gathered waiting in line, but learn how to be honestly happy for others. Not fake happy, honestly happy. That moment that I saw in the hallway where you smiled, where you gave a high five, where there was a hug, where there was one of 10 or 20,000 selfies that I saw get taken. <laughs> Three, don't stop your education. Keep it going. If it means an additional degree, fine. If it means on-the-job training, fine. If it simply means that you're going out and improving yourself on your own, fine. Education should continue for the remainder of your life. You can always learn something new, even how to operate that remote control. Four, pass your graduation on. In Kentucky, for far too long, we have had generation after generation not appreciate higher education. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to tell you that those days are coming to an end. We can no longer ask the question of, are you going to college? The question has to be, where are you going to college? In closing, let me simply say, I want to offer my sincere congratulations. This is indeed a special day. And every time someone comes up and tells you congratulations, or it is a special day, please be proud of your own accomplishments. Good luck, and God bless each one of you. Dr. Vizi, for more than 40 years, you have dedicated yourself to the faculty, staff, and students of West Kentucky Community and Technical College, as well as this community and this region. Your leadership has guided this college to great heights, including being one of two of the best in the United States of America. We are all so proud of what you have done, but more importantly, for the amazing person that you are, and as you retire, after a mere 14 years as president, we would like to offer you a small token of appreciation. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please stand and join me in a moment of recognition for Dr. Barbara Vesey, president of West Kentucky Community and Technical College. Before we confer the degrees, I would like to recognize our faculty. Would they please stand? <laughs> I want to recognize them because it is their knowledge and their commitment to student success um, that brings us here tonight. They share with each graduate the excitement and completion of completion as well as the joy of achievement. Um, and as I stand up here and watch them watch you walk across the stage, you can see it as they recognize each of their students and all of your accomplishments. At this time, will the candidates please rise? Dr. Vizi, I present the candidates for graduation and I certify on behalf of the faculty that they have successfully completed all of the requirements for their respective credentials. Ladies and gentlemen, as the names of the graduates are read, 
Those graduating with honors are noted in the program. Those wearing gold honor stoles are members of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. Those wearing blue honor cords reflect student achievement at or above the 75th percentile on the Educational Testing Service Proficiency Profile, which indicates proficiency in general education competencies. Those wearing red cords are Community Scholarship Program graduates. These graduates met certain requirements while in high school to attain this status. Now the first row of graduates may proceed to the stage and all others may be seated. There will be a professional photographer taking pictures as the students receive their credentials. Please refrain from coming to the stage to take photographs. The following students will be receiving an Associate in Science, Corey Michael Nance. The following are uh, Commonwealth Middle College graduates, Tiffany Ann Boone. Andrea Nicole Hardison. Thomas Clark Hagen. Hillary Brooke Turner. Hannah Rose Williams is receiving an Associate in Arts. The following graduates were receiving an associate in science, Jack Ryan Cooper. Zachary Blake Vanderbow. Amelia Jean Gilly. Tanner Patton Gray. Adelia Marie Simmons. <laughs> Alex Timothy Fox. <laughs> Lindsay Nicole Scherer. Macy E. Giannini. Hassan Ali. Marjorie Rosa Smith. Daniel Anthony Durbin. Gina Marie Wilson. Sarah Catherine Overby. Talise Marie Nordstrom. Jacob Anthony Owen. Courtney Raylynn Powell. Mackenzie Grace Wiley. Jade Leola Marie Townsley. Trevor Thomas Thompson. Crosby James Gardner.
Sarah Elizabeth Harper. The following graduates will be receiving an Associate in Arts, Monica Nicole Munoz. Austin Tyler Helton. The following graduates will be receiving an Associate in Applied Science, Caitlin Michelle Manley. Rebecca L. Park. Crystal Marie Keen. Tara Nicole Frazee. Helen Mariah Windhorst. Brittany Denise C. Lindsay Renee Morris. Cammie J. Dunn. Amanda D. Guess. Chelsea Lynn Frick. Sean Trevor McGuire. Kennedy Michelle Davis. Sally Noel Thompson. Aaron Benjamin Milgate. Whitney Jordan Vaughn. Alyssa Grace Cunningham. Sydney Cade Skipworth. Caitlin Rose Bradley. Keaton Guthrie. Danicki Renee Turner. Brandy Lynn Fronebarger. Lee Catherine Thomas. Michael Allen Chumbler. Shelby Rollings. Trisha Ann Green. Stacy Lynn Tippin. Kristen Michelle Harden. Sandra Marie Deaton. Whitney Nicole Spink. Tony Raquel Rice. Lisa Marie Seymour. LaDonna Allen Heron. LaDonna Michelle Smith. Amy Leanne Runyon Dunlap. Sarah Jean Baird.
Ray Ann Michelle Weber. Catherine Renee Hayes. Tamara Lee Ellen Baker. Alexis Marie Gonzalez. Rebecca Ann Fox. Janet Carol Bowman. Daphne Jane Smith. Emily Gail Lamb. Reagan Rebecca Fugit. Danielle Ann Rodriguez. Anissa Sinche Matting. Elizabeth Nicole Yeary. Sarepta Don Elliott. April Elizabeth Turner. Michaela B. Becker. Cheney Brianna Sherman. Jamie M. Albritton. Taylor Brianne Armstrong. Shania Dawn Bridges. Taylor Renee Cooper. Haley Jo Taylor. Kayla Marie Word. Lacey Lynn Moran. The following graduates will be receiving a certificate. Suzette N. Chamberlain. Kelly Leanne Canna. Mickey and Nicole Taylor. Tiffany Marie Hayden. Robin Gail Reed. Sabrina Nicole Austin. Jennifer R. Gilmain. Dawn Denise Darden. Carrie Ann Saunders. <laughs> Megan Lee Breeden. <laughs> Chelsea Autumn Armstrong. <laughs> Whitney Brooke Sweat. Tanya S. Tracy. Michelle Lane.
Clara, Sierra Nicole Barkley. Courtney Vanderbrook. Jasmine Nicolette Wright. Penny Renee Knight. Samantha Lynn Nicole Unsel. Audra Greenup. Brianna Jewel Desiree Carter. Wesley Allen Ray. Jasmine Johnson. Jessica Arlene Gamble. Valerie Ann Glass. Will the graduates please rise? Madam President, I present the graduating class of 2016. By virtue of the power vested in me by the Kentucky Community and Technical College System and the Commonwealth of Kentucky, I hereby pronounce you graduates of West Kentucky Community and Technical College. You may now move your tassel to the left side. Congratulations! Congratulations. You can be seated now for just a little bit longer. Thank you, Jacob and Corey, for sharing your stories with us tonight. To me, West Kentucky Community and Technical College and the graduates really do present the face of America. Each of you come to us with a different story. And I do hope that the time that you have spent with us, I know it has been invaluable in terms of your education, but I know that you leave us tonight feeling that you are ready to either move into the workplace or continue into post-secondary education and further your career. I thank you, Glenn, for your remarks tonight for your inspiring remarks to our graduates, graduates and words of encouragement. And I thank you too for that honor you gave me. Students, your credential means that you have received a personal mark of achievement and excellence 
But to your family and friends that are here with you tonight, I congratulate you as well. These students, they know, we know, that without your support, they would not have achieved this special night. I congratulate also our graduates of the Commonwealth Middle College tonight. The Middle College was the first in Kentucky, where high school juniors and seniors complete their high school degree, receive the associate degree as well while spending time on our college campus. It took hard work and a of course, ability to be able to walk across this stage tonight. Do that while you were finishing your high school diploma, and I congratulate you as well. To be at the, the college graduate graduations for 43 years, you know that I absolutely love this job. I would have had to, but tonight is, is what has always inspired me and made me want to continue in this job that I love so much and to work with the most outstanding faculty in the country. And so I, I will miss you greatly, but it has been my honor to work with you. And there are others that are retiring this year that I would like to recognize. Um, we have been together for many years, and I would I ask that they please stand. Sherry Barnhill, David Franklin, Joseph Garr, Marilyn Noth, Belon Lau, Alice Robertson, Kay Thomason, Fred Washam, and Norman Wergler. Your service to the college has been exemplary, and we would not be a premier community college in the nation had you not been the leader that you are. So on behalf of countless students and our community at large, I do thank each of you. I started out in a nursing career and never did I aspire and think about being the president of a college. But to the graduates, I would say that I did work hard in every one of those jobs along the way. And I tried to be prepared prepared for that next door that would open. And I would echo Mr. Denton's remarks about continuing your education so that you can always be ready when that next door opens. So on behalf of the faculty, the staff of West Kentucky Community and Technical College, I would say that we are very, very proud of you and we wish you great success when you walk out these doors tonight. But at this time, would you join me, and let's please stand as Fowler Black leads us in the singing of My Old Kentucky Home. And please remain standing as the recessional leaves the auditorium. Fowler. Feel free to sing along. The sun shines bright on my old Kentucky home. Tis summer, the people are gay. The corn tops ripe and the meadows in the bloom while the birds make music all the day. The young folks roll on the little cabin floor, all merry, all happy and bright. By and by hard times comes a knocking at the door, then my old Kentucky home, good night. Weep no more, my lady, oh, weep no more today. We will sing one song for my old Kentucky home, 
for my old Kentucky home far away. Thank you. Thank you.